Welcome back to the Ruddy Duck Channel. In this episode, we explore Banks Lake for three days and go places that only a very small sailboat can go. This was truly an amazing trip on one of the most beautiful high desert lakes I've ever seen. So thanks for joining me on this adventure. Well, we made it to Banks Lake. Uh, it took about three hours to drive here, about 130 miles from home. So started in the woods and went through a bunch of farmland and got into this, uh, what they call scab lands, a lot of uh, basalt rock and lava rock sort of stuff, um, kind of high deserty sagebrush. So really cool. Um, the ruddy duck hasn't been in anything like this so far. So I'm really excited to get on the water and go check this out. The prominent feature on this beautiful lake in Washington is Steamboat Rock, a basalt butte rising up 800 feet from the water. Stay tuned towards the end of the video where we hike to the top and take in the stunning bird's eye views. first impressions of this place are uh, that this place is really cool pretty much rock everywhere surrounding uh, all the canyons there are sandy beaches um, lots of little inlets nooks and crannies it's gonna be really really fun exploring this place uh, a lot of fishermen out today must be really really good fishing here aside from a paper chart I also made use of satellite imagery and found this long canyon. We go in looking for a safe place to stay the night.
This is insanely beautiful out here. After the small hike, we made it back to the boat to find that our friend hadn't gone far. Eventually, the young mule deer buck would run off to go chasing some does that were bedded close by. Leaving me with this beautiful bay all to myself. Oh yeah, I'm eating good tonight. Shrimp gumbo. Well, the sun is setting and dinner is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and eat and then I'll get some rest and we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get some good wind. We'll do some sailing. This is the most peaceful morning I've had in a long time. It's so beautiful, the sun shining off the canyons. 
Oh man, this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving it. So we're sailing a little wing on wing right now. Um, we just came out from where we stayed the night in that canyon. And uh, there's a couple islands right here behind me. We're gonna sail around those and then head back towards Steamboat Rock. And uh, it looks like it's gonna be a real slow beam reach going back over towards Steamboat Rock. There's some canyons and um, inlets that I wanna check out over there. So looks like there's some really tight ones and uh, with some steep walls. So that'll be kind of cool to see. So. We'll get around these islands and then we'll uh, turn to port and start sailing back. Well, it's been kind of a slow sail this morning. Uh, started out with about four or five knots of wind, and now it's died down to about one or two. But it's still beautiful out here. Uh, it's nice to relax and look at the scenery. Well, it turned into glass out here, so I went ahead and dropped the sails. And we are going to head around the corner of steamboat and check that out. All right, so we're floating right about here right now, looking towards that. I wanted to check the charts because it looks kind of sketchy, but it looks like around this point, there's some shallow areas. It's about 10 to 20 feet deep in here. It gets real narrow. And then at the very other side of it, looks like it's real shallow too. So when we go through there, we'll have to watch those areas. Uh, it almost looks like you can get through right there too, if there was a, a rock there. So we'll go in really slow and uh, check it out. All right, so I'm standing up, running the tiller off the stick so I can see any shallow areas. You can really see them if you get up high, so. I'm gonna go through here really, really slow and see what it's like. Uh, land ho. These clothes are pretty rad. Good. 
plenty of room. No problem. Creepy. Well, it's lunchtime, so I barely snuck between those two rocks and got in here. Perfect. A little muddy bottom resting on. Not bad. I always love to explore my surroundings every time I land on a new location. So we're off for a short hike.
Well guys, a little recap for the day. Um, started out with a really good sale, leaving our last anchorage. Um, and after the sale, we came up and actually checked out this canyon that I'm in right now. I saw the spot and I thought it'd be a cool spot to camp. So I ended, ended up coming back here, but went through this canyon and um, out into the main body and then into another canyon that was really cool. And that's the one where we had lunch uh, we flew the drone and um, did some hiking around. After that, I got back in the boat and we headed uh, around um, more north and checked out um, another possible anchorage. It was actually a really cool spot that we could probably anchor. Um, and there's a few places we could beach it too. Um, but it's uh, a lot of brush. Um, there's a few areas of, of grass that we could have rocked up on, but. Um, I kind of like this spot better, so I came back here and went for another hike, and I am beat. <laughs> I am I'm pretty tired, uh, but I haven't eaten yet, so I got to get dinner going, and the boat's a, a mess inside. It's a disaster. I've kind of been just throwing stuff around, so i um, got a bit of, uh, of stuff to clean up and organize and get some dinner, and then I'll probably be out for the night, so... Tomorrow, I plan on hopefully sailing. Uh, if it's the same, we'll get a little bit of breeze in the morning. There's some possible rain coming in, but I want to also climb uh, Steamboat Rock. So that's a 800 foot climb. And um, that'll be the last thing I do before I head out of here. So hopefully the weather's decent and hopefully it's a good hike. So we will probably see you tomorrow unless I find something else that's cool to film. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be sleeping. So, catch you later. Well, good morning. It is day three of the trip. Slept pretty good last night. It rained probably uh, oh, half the night, but everything's dry now. It's beautiful. Just brewing up some coffee, and then we're going to get out there. I'm going to try to do some sailing. It's another light wind morning coming from the north. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it is. But it's beautiful right now. Hopefully this day lasts. Got a little bit of breeze. Got about five right now. This is awesome. Hope this keeps up for a while. We'll sail for an hour or two. We'll see where we go. nine or ten uh, muley does back there they're just feeding on the hillside pretty cool to see them look like they were all does no bucks in there pretty sight by the way the jib leads are working perfect I can really sail upwind and move the clue inboard a long ways to get way better sail shape for this this old sail still need a uh, leech line to tighten and keep that quit that flapping but 
thinking new sales might be in, in order. But yeah, I'm really happy with this system. doesn't get more peaceful than this sailing downwind we are almost back to the boat ramp boat ramps right back there so this is the end of our sailing I'm gonna go trailer the boat out and we are going for a hike up there if you stick with me Well, just started the hike. It is 11 o'clock. We'll see how long it takes to get to the top. Packing light, pretty much just packing food and water. And that's it. So hopefully we see you at the top. walking out to the north side so I can see all the areas that we sailed and went into all those canyons. I'm gonna get a pretty cool bird's eye view, I imagine. So it's just a little more of a hike. Maybe another quarter mile or so. so. Can't wait to see it. It's gonna be awesome. Well guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. It was so good for my soul to be in this place for three days. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it also. We'll see you next time. Guys, help. We're rolling off the edge. Ready?